With action and suspense out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The Ring of the Silver Spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West. Hopalong Cassidy, the same Hoppy you cheer in motion pictures, and the same California you've laughed at a million times. Raw courage and quick shooting have built a legend around this famous hero. Hopalong is a name to be feared, respected, and admired. For this great cowboy rides the trails of adventure and excitement. William Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy and Andy Clyde as California. Well, Hoppy, what about our story? It's one I call Death Comes Invited, and it began one day in eastern Nevada near the town of Franklin. California and I were on our way back to the Bar 20 with nothing more on our minds than where to stop for the night. Then California decided things were too quiet. Oh, bury me not on the lone prairie Where the coyotes holler <laughs> and the wind And they shoot people for singing like that. Oh, no, Hoppy. What's wrong with my voice? Nothing, except it sounds like you gargle with tags. Oh, but I feel so blame good I just got to let off some steam. <laughs> Ah, don't this here country smell yeah. good? You can plumb taste the peace and quiet. Yeah, well, old Sheriff Cullerman Franklin has burned a lot of gunpowder to get it this way. Yeah, I reckon folks think a heap of him up there. He sure get a whale of a reputation. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, hey, look. That bunch are riding mighty hard. Uh, and a hard-looking bunch they are, too. Oh, oh, oh. Howdy, strangers. Think it's a horse trade? Sorry we're not in that. Not no time to argue. Two of my men are riding double, as you can see. Their horse is winded, but not killed. You can have him, but we'll take yours. Quick now. You have five seconds. Get off or be shot off. That's better. Vic, you and Cash take these horses. Mister, we'll be coming after our horses, even if we have to chase you to Texas. <laughs> Easy, stranger. Jack Venno's got no grudge against you, and I reckon I understand a man's regard for his horse. We'll send them to you in Franklin a day or so. Adios! You turn thieves, watch me. No, I'll put it away. Oh, but doggone, I could have bored one sure before they rounded that bend. Yeah, and maybe hit one of the horses. I'd rather have Topper back safe and take revenge. Come on, we'll ride that horse double into town. Hmm. He sure is a tired horse. We won't go fast. That's better than walking. Uh-oh, more company. Hey, hey, the old geezer's wearing the badge. It's a posse. Well, well, howdy, gents. I'm Sheriff Cullum. You see a bunch of hard cases riding fast and led by a tall gent wearing two gun flow, butts forward for cross draw. Right ahead of you, Sheriff. You're lying. Ike, we're getting a bum steer. You notice uh, the... My eyes ain't that poor yet, Johnny Mark. Sheriff, I don't know who your deputy is, but I don't like being called a liar by anyone. Don't blame me none at all, my dagger written at insult. What are we waiting for? You, shuck those guns. Uh, again? Uh, getting so all we're seeing is guns. Yeah, uh, just send easy, Johnny. Send easy. Fellas, reckon you'd best drop them guns like Johnny asked you to do. Don't want you to get excited when I arrest you for robbery and murder. <laughs> Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Death Comes Invited. Riding through eastern Nevada near the town of Franklin, Hoppy and California are held up and forced to trade their horses to a fleeing gang of men led by Jack Venno. The gang leaves them a tired horse, the presence of which causes the arrest of Hoppy and California on a charge of robbery and murder. All right, Johnny, you take these two armies back to town. We'll just... Sheriff, can you read tracks? Ain't no use to get sarcastic, son. I'm just doing my duty. Well, before we get hanged by mistake, you better read the sign in front of you. We were held by Venno's gang, forced to change horses. They left this one and... Ike, let me handle them. I'll teach them to keep shut quiet. Shut up, Johnny, shut up. I'm reading. Oh, pretty messed up with tracks, which is... Well, bust me. Give them their guns back. What? You're out of your mind, Ike. They're uh, part you of the... ain't the sheriff just yet, Bucko. I said give back their guns. Strangers, reckon the sign bears you out. Thanks. You've lost your chance to catch that gang. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Better let the old fella ride. He looks a little feeble to me. All right, let's get going. Feeble? Feeble? 
Why, you darn old fool, I can outride, outwalk, outfight you, outshoot you, and out... <laughs> and out I... talk him six ways to Sunday. He's gone. We might as well head for Franklin. Oh, I'll bet he has a worse time getting up of a cold morning than I do. <laughs> Why, he must be 90 if he's a day. You mean straight sarsaparilla? That's right, but don't worry. We can handle it. What's the matter, mister? Buckeye giving you trouble? No, no, not me, Sherry. Not me. I like the way you stand up. Name? Hopalong Cassidy. My partner, California Carlson. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm plum pleased to meet you. <laughs> what man isn't? I'm Sherry King. Born Maggie Bates, if you're the curious type. Say... You are a good-looking one, aren't you, Cassidy? Uh, I think we'd better get our rooms at the hotel. Uh, I'll do it, Hoppy. No use both of us. Now, wait, California. Now, I'll... now, we'll be better off alone. Come on. Let's try a table. See, you can tell me how you'd like to take me out of all this. <laughs> I won't even ask for a drink. Well, maybe you can tell me who Jack Venno is and what happened here this afternoon. Venno? Well, he's a gunfighter who brought a gang into this county a few months ago. Been raising Kane. Robbed the bank today, and one of the tellers got in his way. The teller is he. They'll uh... bury him tomorrow. But let's not talk about Venno. Funny, with Sheriff Cullum here, I'd think this would be the last place a bandit gang would start operating. Cullum's getting old. Even Johnny admits it. That's Johnny Mark, a beau of mine. He's Cullum's deputy. Ah, I've met him. I wish Cullum would catch Venno and get it over with. Every week or so, a stage gets held up or a payroll stolen. Then for days, Colum has Johnny out riding on those darn posses. Why, I don't know. They never find Venno and his men. Uh-huh. Well, that's... On uh... your way, cowpoke. Sherry, I want to uh, talk oh, with you. Paul Washington. My friend, Mr. Cassidy. Didn't you hear me? I said on your way. Yeah, I heard you, but I feel kind of lazy. So maybe a bullet between your feet will... Ch- will what? Get it out, Washington. What's your beef? Uh... Maybe I made a mistake. You sure did when you reached for a gun. He beat you a mile, Paul. Shut up! Why, you... No, Sherry, don't hit him. No man tells me to shut up. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, so long, Miss Sherry. Nice to have met you. Come again, Cassidy. Buckeye! Yeah, Miss Sherry. We're like dumplings. Out back. Buckeye? Do you think I scared him off? Cassidy? Yeah. He didn't look like the scaring type to me. Yeah. Well, I bet he hasn't got much money. The nice ones never do, do they? Hi, Sheriff. I saw you come back. Any luck? Uh, now you specs. Seems those critters drop in a hole and pull it in after him, eh, Johnny? Yeah. Three stage holdups, two payrolls stolen, now the bank. Town's getting awful riled up, Ike. Uh, thanks for telling me. But they put up with me as sheriff for 20 years. Reckon I'll do for a bit longer. I'll fix Reno's wagon as soon as I figure out who's in cahoots with his gang. Cahoots? Uh, somebody here in town tips his gang to payroll shipments and watch stages to rob. Has to be. Ain't nobody lucky enough to be right every time. Who's in charge of the stage office in Wells Fargo? A uh, man by the name of Paul Washington. Oh, he's a tough one. But I reckon he wouldn't throw in with no outlaws against his own company. Well, uh, it wouldn't seem likely unless he needed money bad. <laughs> Who don't? <laughs> Could use a little myself, what, with the town getting itchy to kick me out of office? <laughs> well, if my partner and I can help, call us. Uh, thanks. Let me know when and if those uh, horses of yours are returned. Maybe we can backtrack them. I will. Uh, good. Uh, Johnny, my leg's stiffening again. Rub it out for me, will you, son? Well, the tracks seem to come from up there, Sheriff. Whoever brought our horses back last night came from those rocks. Uh-huh, I reckon so. That's the same country the gang hides in. 
You know, this could be a little dangerous. Now, let's scatter out as we head up. No point in asking for an ambush. Sure you can make it all right, old-timer? Old? Why, you relic, I could be your son. Not while I was saying. Well, uh, how would you like a poke in the snow? <laughs> hey, bring it up, you two. Yeah, Stay yeah. Right yeah. I got enough trouble ahead of us, maybe. We better save our scrapping for those outlaws. Huh. That don't sound so bad to me. Uh, wished I could see the others. I'm getting spooky. Uh, wonder if I should... Uh, oh, get it going, horse, get it going. Hoppy, hoppy! Here, California. Watch, watch the show. Over where Johnny Mark is. Let's go afoot. Where's that old scalloway, Cal? He fall behind? Uh, he was on the other side of Mark. Mark! Stay back! Up on the ridge! Rifleman! You got the sheriff in the leg! Keep that ambusher busy. We'll get around back of him. This way, California. Come on. We're not so fast. Uh, it's not far. Just up around that big rock. I hope there's only one man there. Careful now. Not the rock. Don't hear no shots. Maybe he's out of cartridges. <laughs> then maybe he ain't. Shh, shh. There he is. Freeze, mister! Get his gun, California, and signal Mark to stop firing. We've got him! <laughs> Hombre who plugged Ike, huh? Yeah, but he's not saying anything. Well, maybe you didn't ask him right. You. What's your name? Smith. What's yours? What's your real name? <laughs> Smith. Lots of people named Smith. I'm one of them. Where's Venno's hideout? <laughs> Who's his spy? <laughs> hey, hey, lay off. That hurts. That's enough, Mark. Stay out of this, Cassidy. This one's my meat. Aren't you, Smith? Wait, I... <laughs> oh. No, you don't. That's all of that. <laughs> Let go of me. Now stay away from him, Mark. Come on, California. Let's get that prisoner on a horse. All right, pal. Wake up. Oh. Get him on his feet. He can stand some more. I don't see how. He's dead. <laughs> Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Death Comes Invited. Trailing a bandit gang, Hoppy in California, with the sheriff and his deputy, are ambushed on a rocky hill. The sheriff is shot through the leg, but the ambusher is captured and killed as he fights with the deputy. Now, Hoppy in California and the deputy are back in town, watching the sheriff being patched up. Dad blast it's dad blasted clumsy docks anyhow. You want a bullet to chomp on, old feller? No, I don't want no dad blasted bullet to chomp on. I fixed up wash wounds on myself with a jackknife and a bottle. Ouch! Oh, Doc, you think you're digging for gold? Say, Ike, uh, about what happened to that prisoner, Smith. Ah, uh, we'll I... talk about it later, Johnny. Reckon as it was an accident, but you've been warned plenty about getting rough. Uh, sure, Ike, sure, but... I was mad about him shooting you. Town needs a sheriff now. With me laid up, that means you. If Venno ain't stopped shooting, we ain't neither one gonna have jobs. Sheriff, have you ever thought of trying to trap Venno? How do you mean, Casty? Sending out a fake payroll for bait. You could have your posse ready and trail on the stage. If Venno hits it... Uh-huh, sounds like a good... Ouch! Gamble. Here, try it, Mark. All right, Ike. I'll check with Washington tomorrow. Sooner the... Ouch! Oh, Mark, before you go, oh, yeah? give me a bullet, will you? And shoot that old goat if he cracks a smile. I say Mark's got only one asset. It's his big feet. You can always hear him coming. It'll be years before he gets promoted. Well, <laughs> you're a big man now, eh, Washington? Hey, where'd you get the bump? <laughs> Tell him, Paul. <laughs> Guess he's modest. Sit down, Johnny. You too, Cassidy. If there's one thing I like, it's lots of men around. Sorry, we're after Washington. Me? Now, look, I was just buying her a drink. You can't... On business. Oh. Let's go to my office. See you later, Sherry. Think over what I said. 
You can have everything you want if you just... You're wasting your breath, Washington. I'm what she wants. Oh, are you? Time's coming when you're due for a surprise, Johnny Mark. <laughs> a big surprise. <laughs> Hi, California. How's it coming? Just finishing Topper's rub down. <laughs> he sure's a great horse. You betcha. Uh, the trap all set? Yeah, for tomorrow night. Hope it works. There. There does it. You know, it's a shame everyone don't take care of his horse. See that bay over there? Been rid hard, but didn't get a rub down. Nah, some riders are thoughtless. Whose horse is it? One of Johnny Mark's string. Uh, but he was with us today. On a roam. Then someone else was riding one of his horses. I wonder... Maybe the hombre didn't want anyone to know he was out, so he rode that bay instead of his own. Uh-oh, we got company. What? Then oh. Just stand quiet and lift the grub hooks. I'd assume, boy, you was not. I thought I was doing you a favor when I sent back those horses. I didn't figure on you crossing me. By a back trail on them? That's right. I reckon we didn't have no agreement, but it was still a mighty unfriendly return. I right, forget that for now, though. I've come for Smitty. He in jail? Smitty? Oh, Smith. I'm afraid he's through with you, Venno. Permanently. He's cashed? Oh, no. Not Smitty. He ambushed us and we caught him. He had kind of an accident and hit his head on a rock. It killed him. Smitty tripped. He fell off his horse? Well, not exactly. Who did it, then? Who's responsible for Smitty's death? Not us, that's for sure. And who? Tell me. It's not our place to tell you, Venno. Sorry. What if I threatened to kill you? I see. You got nerve, I'll grant you that. But I'll find out who did from when I do. Smitty's gonna have company. is that Venno won't be satisfied to let Smith's death go unpunished. Kind of looks that way. Puts Johnny Mark in a bad spot if Venno learns the truth. Mm. Well, the stage with a fake payroll is about to leave. I'd better join the posse. Sure, sure. Go and good luck. If Venno's bunch get to the rocky country, you'll never catch them. Seems queer how easy they duck the posse. Second sight, that's what Venno's got. Washington ride with your posse? Sure, sure. He's handy with a gun. Say, you got a hunch about him, haven't you? Perhaps. I think I know how part of this thing fits together. After I search some saddlebags, I may have the rest of it. Stay just left, Johnny. Everything all set. Aren't you coming with us, Washington? Uh, no, I uh, think I'd better stay with the payroll. Want some guards? That's not necessary. I got a shotgun. Okay. Let's go, but take it easy. Be a big fella in your camp if we can pull this off, won't it? Huh? Hey, I guess so. I got a feeling this thing ain't right. I wish Ike was along. Appears to me that Washington was mighty willing to be alone with that payroll. Yeah. You two getting the same hunch I am? Very possibly. A few minutes ago, while I was at the livery stable, I found out that it was Washington who took your bay yesterday. What? Well, that settles it. <laughs> we'll set a trap for Venno, all right. Around Washington's office. Slim, pass the word. Shoot to kill. Yeah. Hoppy, you think we guessed right? Maybe we... We guessed right. There comes the proof of it. Horses and riders. It's him. It's Venno. Huh. They're sure acting at home. Not even hurrying. Why should they? They had an invitation. Venno! You're surrounded! Give up or die! Hey, it's a double horse! Nice two way out, man! <laughs> What a haul. Town will make you the sheriff of this, Johnny. Not one of them outlaws escape. Five of them are done for, Johnny. Hoppy's got Washington inside the shack. 
Benno's over there, cashing in. He's not dead. Uh, well, he ought to be, but he's dying hard. Quick, give me a hand. We'll take him inside. You men take those prisoners to the jail. I'll join you there later. At least Washington will lift to get hung. Yeah. Put him down here. Mark. Mark, what's the meaning of this? I'm no criminal. Be quiet. And Benno talk, Johnny. No. No, I guess he'll never regain consciousness. It's too bad. Well, maybe Washington will talk. He saw who shot Cullum. He saw? You mean he shot? He's Venno's partner. No, only an accessory after the fact and Cullum's getting shot. He withheld information. That's what his surprise was to be, Johnny. He was going to blackmail you to get the girl, Sherry. You're nuts. We got proof tonight that he tipped Venno to where the real payroll was. No, you did that. You double-crossed him deliberately. You shot the sheriff. You were Venno... Shut the guns and stand with Washington faces to the wall. Don't be stupid, Johnny. You can't kill us all. We'll see about that. The curtains are down. Now when I lock this door, it'll just be the four of us. In private. Great Popeye and rattlesnakes. I think he means... Yeah. Steve. But first I want to know a few things. I've got to know if I made any mistakes someone else might catch. You made your biggest when you invited Venno to come here. He served his purpose. <laughs> I got half the loot from his jobs. He discredited the sheriff. And now I'll be made sheriff and get the reward for the capture of Venno's gang. You should have gotten rid of that mirror in your saddlebag, Johnny. It gave you away. How? Simple. You used it as a heliograph to let Venno know the posse's position when you began searching the rocky section. With no trail to follow, the posse was hunting blind. All Venno had to do was keep circling around you. Pretty smart. Go on, what tipped you to me? The way you tried to shut up that outlaw Smith. I didn't mean to kill him. Just knock him out to keep him quiet. He was the only one besides Venno that knew I was Venno's partner. I'd have let him escape later. Oh, sure. And tonight you'd have killed him with Venno. When you called on them to surrender, you knew they'd fight. I did. Venno and Smith had to die. It was a necessity. Cullum knows Smith didn't shoot him, Johnny. The wound in his leg is horizontal. Smith was above him. If he'd shot Cullum, the wound would have been slanted downward. I could have killed Ike, but I didn't. No credit to you. You knew if Cullum was killed, he'd have been a martyr to the town. And you'd have been a kid trying to fill a man's boots. This way... This way I did what Ike failed to do. And the town thinks I'm a hero. They'll elect me sheriff before tomorrow. Well, that's enough. Got anything funny to say before I finish you three off? Yeah. You heard the one about the man who was hanged for murder? <laughs> you kill me, Cassidy. Now I'll do the same for you. <laughs> Now, back to Hop Along Cassidy. Venno, can you hear me? Thanks for getting Johnny. Heard him. He killed Smitty, the dirty... What was Smitty to you? <clears throat> my my sister's kid. Promised her I'd look after it. <sighs> Venno. He's gone, California. He was the stubbornest dying hombre I ever saw. Lucky for us. Yeah, he was a killer, but there was good in him. Well, we'll send someone back to take care of him. Come on, Washington. You're going to jail. Funny. Johnny's invite to Venno brought death to both of them. Uh-huh. Being a crook is mighty unhealthy work. Ain't that the truth? You know, I'm so happy, I'm honest, I, I, I could sing. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. There's Sheriff Cullum up on crutches. He'd run you in for disturbing the peace. Maybe he's got more of an ear for music than you got, Hop. That's what I mean. Oh, just listen anyway. <laughs> you know, something I've been practicing. Yeah? Huh? Oh, bury me not on the lone prairie. Well, hey, hey also... you, Carlson, come here. Uh-oh, I warned you, California. Hey, just what's the big idea, you old grizzly? No, 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 no Sheriff, I didn't mean to disturb. I, 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 that is, uh, we, we're just leaving. Well, why didn't we... you tell me you could sing? I I ain't uh? had no one to harmonize with in years. <laughs> Try a course of the old mill stream with me, huh? Well, I'll be delighted, <laughs> but we best get away from Hoppy. 
He ain't got no appreciation of fine singing. Mm -hmm. uh, one, uh, two, down <laughs> by <laughs> the old <laughs> stream. Oh, no. <laughs> where I first <laughs> Well, it looks like California and the sheriff are going to hit it off fine from here on out. Providing California doesn't get off key, that is. In our next adventure with those two lovable cowpokes, we find them in their usual share of danger. It happens on the trail from New Mexico back to the Bar 20, where many a surprise awaits Hoppy in the story we call Bullfight. Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. Death Comes Invited was written by Herb Purdom with original music under the personal direction of Albert Glasser. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production. <laughs> <laughs>